2019 state legislative session kicked off. And it's a budget year as well. Yeah. State House Bureau Chief David Williams live inside the State House with more tonight. David? Good evening to both of you. There are still some people here at the State House. You might not be able to see them right now, but the House of Representatives and the State Senate convened a little less than four hours ago. Well, I feel excited. We have new members in the Senate, both in the Democrats and the Republicans, and the camaraderie here is a good one. Walk into the State House Thursday, and you can feel that togetherness, like old friends who haven't seen each other in a long while. I'm glad to be back in session. It is a wonderful place to be, to know that we're going to try to do the people's business to the best of our abilities. I'm excited about that. Lawmakers have already filed more than 200 bills, but not all will become law. This year, the session runs until April. That's because it's a budget session, which means everyone wants a piece of the multi-million dollar pie. We've got to remember that pie is only so big, and we want to make sure that we are fair with how we distribute it. House Speaker Brian Bosma insists bills that make it through will be bipartisan. There will be a handful, uh, uh, maybe two handfuls, tops of bills that will receive a majority vote only. The vast majority of the legislation will not receive a bipartisan vote. Earlier Thursday, there were a couple awkward moments when an anti abortion group of protesters tried to interrupt the public servants' prayer event. Then this memorable moment when Republican State Rep Tim Brown stood up at that prayer event, cane in hand to a standing ovation. Back on his feet at the State House after he was badly hurt in a motorcycle crash in Michigan last year. I pray for the emergency personnel. Thank God, thank you for what they did for me, and thank you for transporting uh, me to a place where I could get the care I needed. A prayer echoed and reinforced by Governor Holcomb for lawmakers. Heavenly Father, give us strength and wisdom as we work together to serve this state we all love so much. So there are many issues lawmakers will discuss this session, including medical marijuana, hate crimes, and teacher pay. And David, you mentioned uh, teacher pay right there. Uh, a lot of lawmakers, of course, talking about that. Can teachers expect to raise this year? Well, you know, lawmakers have talked about that, and this is actually something they agree on. They agree our teachers in Indiana need to be paid more. The issue is, and they're going to have to work to figure this out, how do we pay those teachers? Where will the money actually come from? That's something lawmakers are going to talk about and discuss and find a solution to this session, but they have committed to finding a way to raise teacher pay. David Williams from the Statehouse, thank you so much. We appreciate it.